thank you for this uh, season. Thank you, Father, because when we call on you, you answer us. Thank you because you are not tired of us, and we are not tired of calling on your name. Lord, we pray that as we gather together from uh, different areas to pray and call your name, you will answer us by fire. Our heavens will be open in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want us to open our mouth and begin to appreciate the Lordship of Christ over our life, His protection, His guidance, how He has been so faithful unto us. He's keeping us in good health. He has not handed over, and He never handed over, to the hands of the devil. Shall we open our mouth and begin to appreciate the name of Jesus in our life? If you are praying, please let me hear your voice. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father Lord, as we commence the prayer now, we pray that you will not be far from us. Amen. In every request that we may made here today, you will answer us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today we want to pray, and we are going to pray on uh, this topic called When I See the Blood. When I See the Blood. You know, some, so, sometimes you say, uh, even though I see the president of this country, I will still do what I want to do. Even though you bring your father to come and beg me, I will still do what I want to do. Even though you bring the general anything, superintendent, I will still do what I want to do. But there is something greater. There is a name greater. There is a power greater. There is an efficacy more powerful. There is a presence that is more powerful. And it says, when I see the blood. Now, which blood are you talking about? Shall we turn our Bible to the book of Exodus, chapter 12, verse 13? Exodus, chapter 12, verse 13. If we are in Exodus, chapter 12, verse 13, shall we say amen? Amen. And the blood shall be to you for a token upon the house where ye are. And when I see the blood, and when I see the blood, I will pass over you. And the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you, when I smite the land of Egypt. That this was said, there is something special about this blood. For when I see that blood, it says, I will pass over you. When I see that blood, I want to come and smite some people. I want to come and take some people out. I want to overthrow some people. I want to disgrace some people. I want to show some people that there is only one God, a one supreme God. And so, when I see the blood, I'm telling you tonight that this blood we are talking about can be so powerful when we know him. This blood we are talking about 
there is no limitation to that blood as long as we know him. He says, at the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee must bow. Do you know that witches can also mention that name? Do you know that sinners can mention that name? Maybe you don't know that I'm robbers can also mention that name. But when you know that name, ah, my scripture says, they that know their God, they shall be strong and do exploit. And so when the content of that name carry value in your hands, then the name begins to work for you. Let me quickly refresh your memory. When the enemy took the heart of God, and they took him from the children of Israel. Nothing happened. They put it in their house. Nothing happened. It was only when they wanted to test it. Are you even sure that uh, this God self is not just empty, uh, empty uh, a box? That was when they brought it before Dagon. But before it was in the house of Dagon, it was anywhere. And it was valueless to them. Because they don't know the essence. They don't know what they carry. They don't know what is in their possession. And that's why sometimes when we say we have Jesus and the Jesus did not know us, a lot of things begin to happen to us. And some other persons we call the name of Jesus, you will see demon trembling. And see now we call that name, it will look like as if the name never existed. He says, when I see the blood, the question I want to ask you tonight is that even when the enemy see that blood upon you, are you sure it will generate answer? Are you sure demon will tremble? Are you sure power of darkness will disappear? Are you sure that problem will be taken away when the blood is seen? He said, when I see that blood... I will pass over you. Exodus chapter 12, verse 13. And the blood shall be to you for a token. Not just only you as a token, but it will be upon the house where you are. I am glad to tell you tonight that evil will not enter your house. Mm. Calamity will not befall you. Amen. If you are with me, shout a louder, amen. Amen. And so, as many of us that are hearing the sound of my voice, and you do not have constant relationship with God, or you have doubted Him, uh, if God wants to do this thing, we'll have done it too. Are you sure this God will do it? If you have doubted him, that Jesus say, you are faithless. You never believe what he can do. You are so humiliate the heart of God, the God you carry. I want to bring you back to Calvary tonight. I want you to come before the presence of God and say, Lord, forgive me. I want your blood to have impact in my life. I want your blood to make statements in my life. Shall we open our mouth and begin to pray? Shall we open our mouth and pray? If you are on mute and you are in the arena where you can communicate with your God and you are not too busy to communicate with that God, I encourage you to unmute and let us wrestle together tonight. Because my Bible says one which is a thousand and two, we put 10,000 to flight. How many of us are online today in exponential of tens and hundreds? You know how many demons will be in pain tonight. 
So if you are not uh, too busy, if you are not too occupied, I want to crave your indulgence that you unmute yourself and let us rest together tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father, accept our prayers tonight and come true for us as we enter the realm of prayer in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Amen. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And the blood shall be unto you for a token upon the houses where you are. It is not one house. You say, ah, maybe it is that my major house. Maybe it was in my former place, houses. If you have one here, and you have to go to another place, wherever you are, that blood, as long as God is ready to execute judgment on your enemy, there is a kind of seal, a kind of pro protection, a kind of power, a kind of insulation, a kind of security upon the pole of your house. And it says, the house where you are. And when I see the blood, hmm, when I see the spirit of the living God, when I see the ancient of days, when I see the sovereign God, the I am that I am, when I see his image, when I see his presence, when I see his power, when the efficacy of his name is present there, I will pass over you. And then that plague shall not be upon you. He yeah. said it is a righteous sin unto God to execute tribulation on them that trouble you. And so when the angel is coming, he know where he's going. There is no mistaking. And the plague shall not be upon you. No plague will Amen. come upon you. In the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. It shall not Amen. be upon you to destroy you when I smite the land of Egypt. When I smite them. We are going to pray and tell the Lord, Holy Ghost, cover me with your blood. Wherever I am, cover me with your blood. Cover my family with your blood. Cover my children with your blood. Cover my wife with your blood. Cover me with your blood. Open your mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus. That blood is a peculiar wine. That blood sets you free from sin is for remission of sin. Jesus. That blood oh, provides Jesus. security. Oh, it can save Jesus. you from the power of death. Jesus. It can oh, keep Jesus. you from falling. Oh, it can oh, envelop Jesus. your family. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that blood separates you. It oh, sets you free. Yes. Lord, I ask of that blood. Lord, I ask of that blood. Lord, I ask of that blood. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Open your mouth and ask for this blood. Ask for the blood of Jesus. When they send the angel of death, when he sees the blood, he will jump over. This is not where I'm coming to. When they send that arrow of blindness, in the blood of Jesus. This is not it's where I am coming, oh, for when I see the blood, for when I see the blood, I will Jesus. pass over you. Oh. Lord, cover me with that blood. Holy Ghost, cover me with that blood. I need the blood of Jesus. Do you know dimensions of arrows that flies about? Maybe you don't know. There are some arrows that partners with the air. And once the arrows enter the air, they will stay as long as that person is not breathing air. One is breathing air. Oh, yeah, let the arrow follow the air. And it will enter that person. Then you will hear he's sick. You will go to the hospital. Hospital doctor could not decode, could not decipher. What is the cause of this problem? How... Can we save this person from death? 
an arrow that partner into the air. But when I see that blood, you want to go to a place, and in that place, they say, yeah, put juju in your hand. When you see him now, just hug him. Just embrace him. Once you touch him with your hand, ah, spirit of uh, separation will come in. Another one will say, spirit of hatred will come in. Another one will say, spirit of poverty will come in. Different, different kind of uh, invocation. But do you know that when they see that blood, if I come to hit you with a juju hand and I see that blood, that blood is a neutralizer. That blood is what we call back to sender. Once it touches you, it returns back to where it's coming from. And then they will carry it on their head. And then they will carry it on their head. Ah. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. When I see that blood tonight, I will pass over you. That terminal sickness is not your sickness. Because the blood of Jesus is about to penetrate now. You will not lose that child. The devil will not claim the child. Open your mouth and pray. The plan of the enemy is to ruin your ministry. Let that ministry carry fire. Let your ministry carry fire. For when I see that blood, I will pass over you. <laughs> he said there is no enchantment against Jacob. Why? What happened? There is something they saw. What did they see? When I see the blood. When I see the blood. When I see the blood. There is something that when the enemy see, they cannot further their enterprise. They cannot continue the agenda when they see it. Bible says that break it and hedge, a serpent shall bite him. When there is no sin, that blood cannot be taken away. When you have not corrupt yourself, that blood cannot be taken away. Once you have not dipped your hand in uncertainty, in things that God did not like, nothing can take away the blood, walk and wash away my sin. Nothing, nothing for the blood of Jesus. Something must be activated. Something must be in place when I see the blood. When I see the blood. When I see the blood. I will pass over you. I will pass over you. And this blood will be a token upon your houses. If the token is upon your houses, the blood of Jesus cover your children. If the token is upon your houses, the blood of Jesus cover your wife. The blood of Jesus cover your children. It covers the man, the husband, the man of the house. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. That blood that, shed, that is shed on, on cross of Calvary. Let that blood go. Let that blood be my security. Let that blood be my hope. Let that blood open door for me. Let that door make way for me. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. When I see that blood. It is when the blood of Jesus is not in a house. That is when you see that a witch began to build capacity. I remember some times ago when I met with a child. I think that child, I'm not sure that child will be up to nine. And the first thing that happened in that house, in that house, they used to be a good Christian. And so, but at the time now, the, the, the level of the backsliding was so serious that the husband went outside to go and take a concubine. And so, if the wife talked, he will beat the wife to stupor. So, the wife learned to keep quiet. And so, it happened that he brought the, the, the second wife home. Not even a wife, a concubine, because he did not even marry her. He just saw her and feel that it is good to continue. So he brought her to the house, not to live there, but once in a while. 
it got to a stage that he brought the concubine to the house, that the concubine even cooked for the children of the wife, and they all ate. This is where the problem starts. He that breaketh an edge, the serpent shall bite him. So when I was interrogating the young damsel, she told me that it was the concubine that gave her meat in her, in her rice. And after that, she began to appear in their kingdom. She said, but before she appeared there, they will first do meeting. I said, where do you do that meeting? He said, we do that meeting in our house. So not one, not two, not three. And that same concubine will be there. So the first meeting will take place in their own house. He said they will eat. What do you normally eat? He said, we used to have one big pot like that. We will cook in the sitting room. And they will uh, serve us rice. Most of the time, we will eat rice. And after we finish the house meeting, then we will go. When I see that blood, if the blood of Jesus is in your house, and the blood carry two angels sword, and the blood is supercharged with various angels watching over that place, I will somebody start a meeting in your house, a witchcraft activity. When I see that blood, and that blood shall be to you for a token upon the house where ye are. You are going to pray and tell the Lord, every activity going on in my house, I destroy you with the blood of Jesus. Shall we open oh, our mouth and pray? Jesus. Oh, Lord, I destroy Father. that activity yeah, with the blood of Jesus. I destroy with the blood of Jesus. I destroy, I destroy, I destroy. Every activity of the devil. When they were walking to and fro, they find a place called China, where they decided they were going to build the tower of Babel. What is China? Wash down the place. Where you see weakness, where a fire of God is not burning in the in home, where there are lukewarmness, Jesus, I destroy them with the blood of Jesus. Where the love of many are beginning to wash go, that is where they call China. I destroy. Destroy, that is where destroy, structure are being destroy, built. That is where I altar are being erected. If you see some people now, altar is in their sitting room. Oh, no. To make this worse, altar can even be in their room. You sleep with your two eyes closed and your spiritual eyes blindfolded. And you don't see the activity going on in your house. And when I see that blood, where is the blood? Is it in your room? Where is that blood? Is it at the corner of your house? When I see the blood, I will pass over you. Meanwhile, that blood will be a token, and it will be upon your houses, the houses where you live, the houses where you are. That's where you will see the efficacy of that blood. Is the blood of Jesus? Is it in your house? Is this on your circles? That the enemy cannot pass through. The enemy cannot flow through. When I see the blood of Jesus, when I see that blood, I will pass over. 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 In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. I have been in a place before where I uh, accommodated a, a, a demon in my house. I never knew everybody was doing what they could. But when prayer was made and fire began to burn, is a signal of the presence of Christ. That is the blood of Jesus. For as many that do not know the meaning of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, uh, let me quickly help you out. The blood of Jesus means the presence of Jesus. How do you know that the blood of Jesus is the presence of Jesus? That blood is life. Anybody without a blood does not have life. The person has become a spirit. And so with that blood, it represents Jesus. So when I see that blood, it means when I see that life. Now, it is not just the blood of a goat. It is not blood of a human being. It is the blood of Christ. If you put the blood of a woman being at the samples of your house, 
you may discover that that house might be the headquarter of a demon. And so the blood differs. The blood of Jesus is different from the blood of Abel. It's different from the blood of a serpent. It's different from the blood of a dragon. And so when you carry that blood in your house, you carry power. You carry mighty warrior. And so when the presence of God came, a lot of things were beginning to, 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 to be revealed unto us. And so the conclusion is, at the time when the prayer became serious, uh, the, person packed his, uh, the person left, packed his load, and left some strategic things. And so we begin to pray. When we were praying, then the Spirit, then, then the spirit manifested itself and says, you thought I have left your house. We are many there. We are many in that place. There is nothing you say we did not hear. There is nothing you do we did not see. Eh, is that serious? So what we did was to bundle all the property of that fellow, bundle everything. Now listen to me carefully. By the time we bundle them, they became they are valuable things. So they bundle them and put them in the store outside. When they bundle it and put it in the store outside. Now, it happened that the spirit could not penetrate again because what is carried in that place now is even greater than whatever altar that have activated itself. And so what we now notice is that where we carry those things at the store outside, we discover that once it is 12 o'clock, then you will see those different kind of birds. That is where they will be gathering. They gather on the top of that roof you will always see them there once it's around 12 o'clock, every day. And so when we begin to pray like that, you don't just sit down inside and just be securing inside. inside. You secure inside, you secure outside. And so until we go outside, so now discover that why is it that this thing is always coming here every 12 o'clock? And prayer were made, and the blood of Jesus was invited there. I tell you, that was the, at the end of that activities of that demon in that house. They can build altars in different places. And once that altar is not visited and the altar is not destroyed, you will think they have left. Ah, they have left. Oh, they have left. They are not there again. Some people will say, he has left my life for good. Eh. He has left my life for good, but things are not still better than what it used to be before. What about that altar that remained near? What of the altar of, of, of relationship, of partnership, of, of, uh, of covenant? As long as it is not destroyed, the thing becomes activated. We are going to pray and tell the Lord, every altar that have defied the presence of God in my life, I command that altar now to crumble before me in the name of Jesus. Shall we open our mouth and pray against every altar that is not of God? Let that altar, let it be destroyed. Let that altar, let it be broken. Somebody open your mouth and pray. In once the altar is not the altar of God, then understand that it is the altar erected by the devil. And the purpose of that altar is to monitor everything you do and everything you say. Somebody say, Pastor, let me tell you something. We have refused sharing testimony in the church. But when we hear testimony among ourselves, even in the house, things begin to go the negative way. There is a altar in that house. There is an altar in that house. The altar that has a voice. The altar that has a ear. Everything you say they hear. Every altar. I want to go and uh, present my document so that they can give me the work, the job. You will get there and you will discover that it is another thing entirely. Ah, because they are promising me, they want to give me this one, they want to give me that one. You are steady because the power you carry is not commensurate, it does not commensurate to the spirit that counts what is about to come. 
and your authority and then you will just discover me. that everything still ends up in the same news. And we are telling you that there is an altar that is functioning in your house. That altar is not eliminated. That altar has a voice. It will continue its activity. Open your mouth and destroy them tonight. You can have altar in a house. You can have altar in a being. That altar in a human being is called the doorway. The doorway that opens access for the enemy to borrow that body, which has become an embodiment of their enchantment. A carrier, a convener of their evil message from their kingdom. Open your mouth tonight and destroy every form of embodiment. They come in sheep clothing, but then they are the demon incarnate. They will put a band in their head and they will look so humanly. They will put on suits and garments that look of righteousness. But I'm telling you, they are filthy garments, they are filthy rights. Carry the altar and throw them away. Carry the altar and burn them, set it on fire. Invite the blood of Jesus into your house. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say louder, Amen. Amen. He say, and when I see the blood, I will pass over you. You are going to pray. When I see the blood, I will pass over you. When they are sending the arrow of evil, when he get to your house, he passes over you. It means Amen. when that destruction, when that arrow is coming, arrow of retrogression, when you see the blood, he pass over. Arrow of failure, Amen. when you see the blood, he pass over. Arrow of death, Amen. when you see the blood, he pass over. Arrow of calamity, Amen. when you see the blood, he passes over. When uh, 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 the arrow of frustration, when it comes, he pass over. Of joblessness, Amen. he pass over. Of evil Amen. sickness, he passes over. You are going to pray from today, evil pass me over. Limitation, Amen. pass me over. Poverty, Amen. pass me over. Open your mouth and pray. They will not locate you. They will not see your house. Blindness, pass you over. They want to slay them with spirit of blindness. They, not see you. They, not see my they want to in put chains in their hands. They want to put chains in their legs. He will pass me over. He will pass me over. In the name of Jesus. Pass me over. Pass me over. Every time I see Every time I go to the pass me over. Pass me over. Pass me over. Pass me over. He will pass me over. Pass me over tonight. Wherever you go, you are a carrier of the blood of Jesus. Your children is in the university. He will pass them over. Joblessness, pass them over. Waywardness, pass them over. I tell you, a life that never carried the presence of Christ has invited a strange spirit upon himself. In Jesus' name we pray. Look at what he says. He says, and the plague shall, shall not be upon you to destroy you. The, the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you. That is the certainty that that person in the hospital bed will not die there. That is the certainty that that sickness will not kill you. That is a certainty that that thing they are projected to your body will not kill you. He said, that plague shall not be upon you to destroy you. When I smite, when I smite the land of Egypt, he said, I will pass through your, 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 your land tonight. And in passing through that land, I want to slay some people. I want to smite some people. I want to destroy some people. But listen to me, when I see that blood, I know who to slay I know whom not to destroy. I know whom to destroy. For those that have sold themselves to the devil, I will destroy them. 
For those that are partnered with evil, I will destroy them. For those that say, will not be well with you, I will destroy them. Because he said, I will contend with them that contend against you. Against you. you are going to pray and tell the Lord, every plan of the enemy to contend against my life, Holy Ghost, slay them in the name of Jesus. Shall we open our mouth and pray? Every plan of the enemy to contend against my life, Holy Ghost, slay them in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, slay them in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, slay them in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, slay them in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, slay them in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, slay them in the name of Jesus. Let them be slain. They want to destroy whatever you have built in this long year. The Lord will slay them. The Lord will slay them. In the name of Jesus, slay them all. The Lord has been facing the Lord to you. On them that trouble at you, oh God, my Father, do not slay them at the end of the day. Slay them all. Slay them all. Slay them all. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, slay them. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. We want to pray now and tell the Lord that whatever my heavenly father has not planted, that is living in me. See, I used to hear people that say, when you have given your life to Christ, everything is over. Let us begin to tell them the truth. When you have given your life to Christ, that is a very correct thing. Things will become easier because the yoke you only carry before. The grace of God will help you carry it. But I tell you that if the altar, the household altar, if it's not visited and it is not destroyed, true fervent prayer, it will remain there. It will remain binding. That's why you see some people, they are struggling with their spiritual life. That's why you see some people. The devil will just raise all something. He can raise the children against them. He can raise uh, 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 people around them. He can raise it against them. That will be threatening your conviction in Christ. And so serving God will become difficult because there is an altar that needed to be broken that is yet unbroken. You are going to tell the Lord, whatever that is not planted in me, that is still forming an altar in me, I root them out now in the name of Jesus. Shall we? Open our mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord. I encourage you to pray. Our life, we need prayers. We need to pray. In the name of Jesus. Enough is enough of people carrying bodies. He said it will come to pass in that day. That his body will be taken from off your shoulder and the yoke from off your neck. Salvation will not take away the body, the grace will only bear that body. I root you out. I root you out. I root you out. But something must be destroyed for something to give way. I command that altar to be rooted out. In the name of Jesus, we rooted out. 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 In Let that thing live. Jesus. It should not be there. I too cannot touch you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Say louder, amen. 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 There are prayer requests we have here, and um, they are in uh, different places now. But uh, some of those prayers are to pray for healing, some are to pray for jobs, some are to pray for contracts, and, and, and in like manner. And some are to pray for the success of their children. As we speak now, some people are writing jam now, jam in Nigeria, which is done once in a year. And um, some other exams for people that are not within the country. Uh, so they, they want us to pray for, for success. They want us to pray that they will pass. And um, the one in the hospital that uh, it will be, be discharged because some of them, one of uh, a person have been in the hospital now for more than a month. For more than a month now, I tell you. And so they demand our prayers. We want to pray that the Lord will answer their prayer. The one looking for a job, the Lord will give him a job. 
The Lord will give them job, the job that they will satisfy them, the job that they will never know poverty. The Lord will release unto them. In the name of Jesus. And we want to pray too for the one that is in the hospital. Now the Holy Spirit will heal that person. And that person will be discharged in no time. Please open your mouth and pray. Want to pray for their success? The one that have gone to write exam, it will pass. Your children will pass. No failure. No wasting of money. No failure. No wasting of time. What are you doing in the hospital bed? I command you to rise up and begin to walk. Discharge her. Discharge him, whoever. In the name of Jesus. Whatever uh, property that is in the possession of the enemy, property of your children, property of your success, wherever it is now, I demand the release that the Holy Spirit will go in the fullness of His power and release them their property now in the name of Jesus. This battle is not your battle, it is God's battle. Is for the name of the Lord to be glorified. Remember, Lazarus is dead for four days, and it looks like it is hopeless. But Jesus appeared at the tomb, and he rose up Lazarus. It is not over yet. Jesus is about to appear. You will redeem everything that has been stolen away from you. Everything that has left you, they are coming back. You will not be a victim. You are a victor. You are not made to be a victim. You are a victor. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Did you say louder, Amen? Amen. Amen. Dependable Father, we bless you and we worship you for this afternoon. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for your supremacy over our life and the confidence we have to key in into that supreme, supreme power. Lord Jesus, we are praying that as we have poured out our heart unto you, there are people that are going through our time, are going through re our time, our time in different sections of their life. Lord, I pray, deliver them. Amen. Bring Amen. joy to their life in the name of Jesus. Amen. The chief government now, but to steal and to kill everything that has been stolen, or oh, yeah, recover back in the name of Jesus. Amen. No one will die Amen. physically, no one will die spiritually. Everything, Amen. good gifts that have been taken away, be returned now. In Amen. the name of Jesus, Amen. we pray for those that are writing exams, they will pass. Pray for those that yeah. are sick. Holy Ghost, heal them in the name of Jesus. You say you will supply our yeah. need. Bless and supply everyone in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father, yeah. because we know it is done. In yeah. Jesus' yeah. name, we are praying. Amen. If you are dead, amen. amen. Say, Elada, Amen. Amen. Let us just call on the name of the Lord. The Father, let the blood work for me. Call upon him. Call upon him. Call upon him. That they want to be the partaker of the in blood. The name of, Jesus. of the blood. The blood. The blood. Father, the blood let the blood, blood. Let the blood work for me. Call upon him. Let him. In the name of Jesus. Father, let the blood work for me. I have no choice. I have not any other thing. I depend not on, upon any other thing. This blood of righteousness, this blood of righteousness, this blood of Jesus Christ. I don't want to care. I don't care of who is here or who is not here. I don't care of who is listening, who is not listening. But at this particular hour, I care about myself. Because I know if the blood war for me, it is shown to other people that your blood is dependable. That your blood can be trusted. That your blood can do everything. 
that your blood, blood will solve everything. Blood that blood that blood your blood soul can bring solutions blood. no matter what the, 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 the challenges may be. Let it. In the name of Jesus. I call upon your name in the name of Jesus Christ. Among the people in the world, in my family, in my place of work, among the generation, among old generation, in my place, anywhere I go, Father, let the blood work for me. Many, many people, many years, thousand years, hundred years, hundred hours, thousands hours, many days. Last Let year, you. this year, people in the future you will call the blood of Jesus Christ. But yet, the impact is not in their life. Call upon the name of the Lord. At this hour, Almighty Father, I come with all humility, I come with all what I have. I come without any single complaint. Father, let the blood work for me. Let the blood work for me. Let it work for my children. Let it work for my wife. Let it work for my let it work for my children. Let work for my children. Let it work for everything that concerning me, concerning my job, concerning, concerning my, 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 my life. Yes, the Moses Israelite, they saw, they, 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 they said the Red Sea. In the name of Jesus. Pharaoh, they saw the Red Sea. Break. But because of the power in the, the name of Jesus, of Israel, that blood, that Red Sea departed. And the, the Israelites they passed over, but at the same red sea, the Pharaoh, that's where we see their end. The departure of the, the, the separation of the of the power of the water does not work for them. The blood now call upon the name of the Lord, Father, let it blow work for me. Anywhere I go, anywhere I lay my leg, anywhere I, 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 I am going to go, anywhere I'm going to do something, anywhere I find myself in my in my life. Oh, for concerning for everything that concerning concerning my me, for ah. everything that concerning what I'm going to touch. Father, I call upon the name of the Lord. Father, let the blood let, let the blood work for me. My dear brother, my dear sister, we are not talking about multitude now. We are talking no. about particular life. I don't know, I've told us many times. GS say that there are many people in Lagos, he doesn't know their name. But there are many yeah, people yeah, in other yeah, countries. Yeah, when yeah, you are talking yeah, about yeah, Canada, yeah, you are talking about Europe, yeah, you are talking about North America. He said he knows their name. He said, Why? Call upon the name of the Lord Father, let the blood work for me. Let the uh, King of King, let the blood work in the for name me. Of Jesus. Mm. Almighty that, Father, that, let the blood that, work that, for me. That, 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 call upon that, him, yes. call upon him, let call upon him. Let it work for my children, let it work for my life. Let it work. If that in blood can work for Jesus. anything that is in your life, in whatever it may be. Lord. Is it your work? Is it your marital life? Blood of blood. Is Holy Spirit. Is that sickness? Is it lack of money? Ah. Is it like you are, you are, is it like you are, what is behind where other people are on top? Is it like you are not satisfied with your want? What? Yeah. My dear brother, my dear sister, our father have told us the impact of the blood of Jesus Christ. It is not for you to hear it, it is for me to hear it. It is another thing for the impact of that blood to be in our life. Father, call upon him as I'm departing today. Yes. On things that have been a long suffering in my life. Father, let the blood work for me. Let King of King, let the blood. I'm talking about myself. If let it works for me, it will be extended to the other people. Let you go. Yes, in the Moses Jesus. lead the battle. He was in the front. Uh, and it's like, why can't you just leave us there and we perish at that place? But when the road walked for Moses, and the and, 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 and the arrested the I mean they are separated. 
Jesus. Moses and Israel, oh, they were Jesus. enemy to pass. That's why you need to call upon the name of the Lord. Father, I present myself. I present my soul. I present, I, I, I present, I, I, I present my body. I present everything concerning concerning me. Let the blood work for me, O Lord. When it work for you, it work for your family. Ah. Why it work for you, it work, it work with your wife. Why it work for you, it work with your husband. Why it work for you, it work with your children. Call upon the name of the Lord. Why in the blood of Jesus? Why it work the blood of Jesus Christ work for you? It work for the generation. I mean the congregation. Call upon him, Father. Let the blood work for me. King or king, let the blood work for me. Enough of murmuring, enough of working in the in the morning, repeating the same thing, enough of repetition. Enough of we are even sometimes you yourself you will ask yourself, where is my God? Talk mm. like of the people outside. Many times we are prayed, and it seems like there's no answer. Mm. A lot of prayer in our hand, and it seems like oh. is it God, is God not answering prayer? Is it not the one that said in the book of them that Matthew that us and it shall be given? Now call upon the name of the Lord, Father. I'm pleading. I come with all humility. I come with, I know I have nothing except you. I come with, uh, with all, uh, I, all my heart is upon you. I don't, I call upon you because I know you are only God I have. Father, mm. please, I'm bleeding, I'm begging. Let the blood of Jesus Christ work for me. Father, I don't want to come back last Saturday and repeat the same thing. But I know you are the blood work for me. Forget all the, the, the generation cause, the, the generation limitation. God, it just because of this, like the acid that I've been flowing for many years, for many years. And just because of this, God, 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 God divided the, 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 the rest. Of so why God cannot do something because of you? Why God cannot do something before because of me? That's why you will call upon the name of the Lord once again, Father. I'm calling upon you in the history of my life. Ah. What I'm doing, Father, please, I'm begging. Just because of the blood of Jesus Christ, let the blood work for me, Lord. Let it work for me. Let it work for me. Do not leave me in this situation. Do not leave me in this problem. Father, let the blood work for me. Let me work. Let it work for my family. Let the people see the, 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 the impact of the blood of my life, for Lord. Touch me, O Lord. Touch me, O Lord. Touch me, O Lord. Let it blow up for me. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. That's what I will pray. Say, pray for us, sir. The blood is what will. Everyone of us that is online today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. For everyone that hear the sound of my voice, I pray for you. The blood of Jesus will work for you. Hey, that man. blood hey, will man. disgrace every plan of the enemy for your life. Hey, In man. the name hey, of man. Jesus. Hey, Amen. Hey, my Lord and my Father, we bless you. Hallelujah. We worship you, Lord, because you are our God. And you will be our God forever. Hey, Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit, because... You have never lost any battle before, and you can never lose any battle. Amen. Therefore, Amen. Father, we are praying. Every power of darkness that raises their ugly head against us, Holy Ghost, confront them with your blood. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. let Amen. this blood Amen. throw out every altar that is not of God in our life, in our home, in our family. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And I pray, Amen. Lord, that everything that the devil has stolen away from us, the blood of Jesus, that is the life of Christ, which is the Christ himself, we deploy angels and go after those enemies, that which have been stolen from, from us, let there be restoration now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. You are not happy when we are not happy. Holy Spirit, Lord, we pray. You say you will contend with them that contend against us. 
You said, he that destroyed this temple, him will God destroy. And Lord, see how temple have been trampled on. Because there are mixed multitude that have penetrated into the means of God's children. Holy mm. Ghost, I pray. You will go into their kingdom. You will go Amen. into their altar. You will Amen. go into their Amen. power. And Amen. destroy their virtue. And dislodge them. Amen. And destroy their host. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Lord, Amen. give us victory. Make us triumph over every power of darkness that is not of God. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. You will make us happy. Amen. Anyone Amen. that is sick will be healed. Amen. Those that are Amen. looking up to your face, that Lord, answer me. Please, Lord, answer them. In the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Because you, we know you have Thank answered. You. In you, Jesus' you, name we pray. Amen. I like the victorious Please do not forget the garden of the eagle tomorrow, and then let us continue to invite other people and let us continue to have faith, because if the testimony starts from us, there's no need our testimony will be bringing other people. So let us start from us. Uh, the Bible let me know that we will be the first partaker of the blessing, and by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, that, prom uh, that promise will follow us in Jesus' name. Do not forget the gathering of the people tomorrow. Uh, join us. I think we will still. The last meeting we couldn't conclude because the other church they, they took over. Uh, we appreciate it. We, Pastor Shegun, still let us have the meeting. There's something I want to contribute. Uh, let us continue to pray for our pastor and Almighty God will lift our head up in Jesus' name. Pastor, continue to pray for all of us, your member, that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, our testimony is your joy. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, you will continue to hear testimony from us in Jesus' name. Thank you. Amen. Let's share the grace. May the grace, grace of, of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be here with us now and forever. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us. All the days of our life, we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. It's our next meeting. Let us be sharing. Even if we just 10 minutes, by the time the pastor is preaching, that cannot please your attention. Just copy and send it to other people. Just copy and send it. Uh, in my language, we don't have any business we are doing that evangelism. And God will continue to help us in Jesus' name. Thank you. We'll see you tomorrow. God bless you, sir.